Hey everybody, back to it, Drive In Live. In today's video, we are talking about broke lottery winners. It's a crazy thing, isn't it, that people who win millions of dollars go broke. What the hell happened? I'm sure you're thinking like, if I won that money, I wouldn't go broke. Well, hopefully not. But let's, let's do a little bit of a dive into why that might be. People get money. And the problem is they don't know what to do with it. They think that money will be the solution to their problems. And yes, temporarily, it'll allow you to pay your bills. Temporarily, it'll allow you to get back on your feet. But if you don't know really what to do with money, it's just going to go away again. That's probably why they were broke in the first place. So they go from broke to win the lottery. Now they're rich and then they go broke again because it's who they are and what they know. Real estate investing is kind of like that. I watch too many people come to my class and they say that they want to make a lot of money in real estate. Well, who doesn't? And I'm thinking that they're looking at real estate kind of like, like a lottery ticket of sorts, right? It's going to allow them to make a bunch of money and because, because they decided to do it. Well, that's not necessarily the case. If you invest in real estate, but you don't really know what you're doing, you could go broke as well, just like those lottery winners, right? Financial intelligence is so critically important to you being wealthy over the long term. People who are financially intelligent can make money, and then they can go broke, and then they can make it again, right? Because sometimes the economy, sometimes the situation, whatever, right? Stuff happens which causes them to be broke. Like it'll it'll take all their money away, but because of what they know in here, they're able to make it again. So there's a big difference. Money doesn't necessarily make you wealthy. It's whether you can have it continue to grow and be weather resistant. And when I say weather resistant, I just mean like the the um, weather of of the economy, the weather of society, the weather of life. Stuff happens, right? It's not always sunshine and rainbows. Now, for you guys who are interested in making a whole bunch of money, that's fantastic. Great. It has to start somewhere. You have to have a desire, right? Oh, something messed up. Here we go. All right. You can't just have that. You can't just have something come out of nowhere. You got to have that desire first, that thought. And so great. You have that thought to be uh, really, really wealthy, really, really rich, all that good stuff, great. Now, what are you going to do towards that? What are you going to do to make sure that you get that and you keep that? Because you can get it, but then you can also lose it. And we watch real estate, I'm sorry, lottery winners, they do it all the time. And the reason you hear about lottery winners is because it sounds so ridiculous. It's like, how the heck did you make... Or, or get, I don't want to say make, how did you get $10 million and mess that all up? It's right here. You know who else it happens to? Broke ass athletes, broke ass celebrities. It does that all the time. You'll, you'll read about it and they'll write stories about it because it's compelling because it makes your inner, your inner gut or whatever your, your inner being go, what the hell? Like that, that is why it's a good story. When, when things can make you say that, you want to read about it. So you'll hear about all those people losing all their money. Don't be one of them. And if you don't have financial intelligence, what makes you think you're any better than them? And the, I guess the real problem though, is people don't realize that they don't know. They don't realize that they don't understand finance, finances. They think they understand because they're adults. But just because you're an adult doesn't make you well-versed in finances. I know a lot of dumb adults. Don't be one of them. You have the ability to change who you are. So if you are dumb when it comes to finances, don't be dumb and go learn. And how can you learn? Go to a bunch of seminars, read a bunch of books, Google stuff, whatever, right? You want to come to my seminar? Come to my seminar. But don't just assume that you know stuff because you're an adult. Because that doesn't mean anything. All right, well, it's 
down, the ball is in your court. Don't be a dummy. Don't just don't just think that money's gonna solve your problems because what if you were lucky enough to get money out of thin air, you might lose it. So try not to do that. Alright, y'all. That's it. Have a great day. Great weather outside. I have this black and white thing going on, this hat and the sunglasses because uh, I didn't do my hair, but you can't tell that because I got my hat on. It's so cool, isn't it? So yeah, that's all. All right, y'all. Peace.